Hi everyone, this is Miss Smidger. You are watching the Predicting Population Changes in Food Web video. Please use your dry erase marker and your page protector to mark out the different population changes. I'm going to show you a population change. I'll start it off for you on how I would work out the problem. And then I want you to push pause, work out the problem on your page protector, and then push play to see if you got it correct. If you want to rewind or pause the video at any time, feel free. So this very first one, if we've got what will happen to all organisms if there is a reduction in the mouse population. So we're talking about all different organisms if there's a reduction in the mouse population. Well, if I'm looking at my vocab sheet, I know that reduction means to decrease. So if the mouse population is going down, what will happen to all other organisms? Please push pause at this time. All right, so if the mouse population is decreasing and there's a reduction in it, then its predator, the owl, won't have any food to eat, so the owl is going to decrease. But then the grasshopper, who is the prey of the mouse, so if there isn't very many mice keeping the grasshoppers in check, the grasshoppers are going to increase. And then due to all the grasshoppers increasing, the grass is then going to end up decreasing. I know this because the grass gets eaten by the grasshopper, grasshopper eats, gets eaten by the mouse, mouse gets eaten by the owl. Go ahead and erase your whiteboards at this time. This next one, what will happen to all organisms if there is a decline in the grass population due to a drought? So we're looking at all organisms, decline, we know decline means to go down or decrease in the grass population. So if the grass population is gone due to a drought, what would happen to all other organisms? Please pause this video at this time. So if the grass decreases, its predator, the grasshopper, won't have any food to eat, so it's going to decrease. Then its predator, the mouse, won't have anything to eat, so it's going to decrease, which would then cause the owl to decrease as well because it won't have any food to eat. So essentially, if the producer is gone, it will mess up the whole entire food chain because everything won't have anything to eat. Go ahead and erase your whiteboard at this time. All right, let's go ahead and look at this one. So what will happen to all organisms if there is a growth in the chameleon population. So we know growth means to increase. So if the chameleon population were to increase, what would happen to all the other organisms? Please pause this video at this time. So if the chameleons increase, then their predator is going to have more food. So the snake is going to increase which would then cause its predator to have more food, which would be the mongoose. It's going to cause the mongoose to increase as well. But then if we go the other way, if the chameleon increases, then there are going to be a lot more chameleons to eat the caterpillar, so the caterpillar population is going to decrease. So now if there aren't very many caterpillars to eat the leaves, then the leaf population is going to increase. Please clear your dry erase mark boards right now. All right, how about this one? What will happen to all organisms if the mongoose population is reduced? Well, I know reduced means to decrease. So if we're looking at the mongoose population, the mongoose population decreases. What will happen to the rest of the organisms? Please push pause at this time. So if the mongoose population decreases, then its prey won't have anything to keep its numbers down. So the snake population is going to end up increasing because there are less predators. So then that would cause the chameleon population to decrease because all of a sudden there's more snakes to eat the chameleons. But now that there's less chameleons, its prey, the caterpillar, are going to increase which will then cause the leaf population to decrease because there's a lot more caterpillars eating those leaves. Go ahead and erase your page protectors at this time. All right, let's go ahead and look at this one. So if we've got something where what will happen to all organisms 
if the giraffe population expands. Well, we know expands means to increase. So if the giraffe population is increasing, what will happen to the other organisms? Please push pause at this time. So when I'm looking at different situational food webs, just think about the food chain that that particular organism belongs to. So in this case, the giraffe belongs with the tree, the giraffe, and the lion. So I'm just going to focus on that food chain and then worry about the rhino later. So if we're looking at the giraffe, if the giraffe increases, there's going to be more predators for the tree. So the tree is going to end up decreasing. So if the tree decreases because of the increase in giraffes, well then the lions are going to increase because they're going to have more food to eat because they're going to have more giraffes to eat. Now if we're looking at this, if the rhino doesn't have as much food to eat and there's more predators, it is absolutely going to decrease. Go ahead and erase it at this time. What will happen to the lions and the trees if there's a drop in rhino population? So what will happen to the lino, lions and trees if there is a drop? Why well, no drop means to decrease. So what will happen to the lions and the trees if there is a drop in the rhinos? Go ahead and pause the video at this time. So if the rhinos drop, they decrease. Again, just focus on the food chain, the tree, the rhino, and the lion that it belong that the organism belongs to. The lions decrease, so then there aren't going to be as many predators, so that's going to cause the tree to increase, and then that would cause the lions not going to have anything to eat because the rhinos, and we're just worried about these two organisms, we're not worried about anything else. The rhino is the food or the prey of the lion, so the lion is also going to decrease because it's not going to have as much food to eat. Please clear your page protector at this time. If we're talking about what would happen to the killer whale and the seaweed if there is a rise, and I know rise means to increase, in the squid population. So we're just looking at the killer whale and the seaweed, those are our two organisms that we're focusing on. If there is a rise or increase in the squid population. So my squid are going to end up increasing. Push pause at this time. So if my squid increases, that's going to cause its prey, the crab, to decrease because there's going to be more predators of it. So then that would also cause my seaweed to increase because there's less crab to eat it. So my seaweed would end up increasing. Now let's go back. So squid would increase. So then that means my elephant seals would also increase which would also mean if the squid are increasing, then my penguins are going to increase, which would then lead to if both those are increasing, then my killer whales are going to end up increasing as well. Go ahead and erase your whiteboard at this time. All right, what would happen to all organisms if the killer whale population decreased? So we know decrease means to go down. So what would happen to all organisms if the killer whale population was gone? Please push pause at this time. All right, so if the killer whale is gone, it decreases. All of its prey, which are the leopard seal, the penguin, and the elephant, those are all going to increase because there's not as many predators to eat them. So the elephant seal, penguin, and leopard seal are going to increase, which would then cause the squid, their prey, to decrease because there's more predators. So there's more elephant seals and penguins eating the squid, so they're going to decrease. So if there's less squid, the crabs are going to increase 
because there are less predators, the squid, eating them, which would then cause the seaweed to decrease because there are more crabs or their predators to eat them. Please erase your dry erase marker board.